Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Hall videos. Ah. So, uh, today reviewing from Blue Monkey Brewery based in Guildbrook in Nottinghamshire. Uh, well, on the edge. It's their Black Forest Sour. So, ABV is 6%. We'll tell you what it says on the back. Not a great deal, but it's, uh, it's got some info. Hops, Magnum, Citra, and Centennial. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's just a black forest sour. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Obviously, black forest sour does give the game away. Sometimes it's nice to, I suppose, have a little bit more info. Uh, dependent on the beer. Um, oh, smell that. So here we go. Let's uh, pour this out. See how it looks and see how it cooks. Got like a ribena look to it anyway in, in the pour. You know, dark. And there we go. So as we can tell, we can see it's like a dark, dark reddish pour to it. Um, there's a slight tinge. There's a, a pastry nose coming off this, like a... Oh, that's on my hands, that's why I'm smelling my hands. A um, little bit, a little bit, looks a bit lively. That's how you can smell it's a sour. And I am getting that um, Black Forest vibe from it, to be fair. And here we go, let's dive in. No man sniffing. Let's get drinking. Wah. It's tarty. Fair play, it's definitely got the Black Forest. I can taste, I love Black Forest Gatto. I used to buy, not that you can buy them cheap these days because everything's so expensive. But I used to be able to, I used to buy like a, a 12 or 18 piece and just eat them myself. These days I hardly ever eat oat like that really. And my only, my only vice in life is beer. The absolutely only vice that I've got is beer. Which is quite sad in that respect, but yeah. Yeah, really nice tartiness from this. Definitely tasting the cherry, tasting the pastry elements coming through. Like, um, Blackberry element coming through. And there we go. Yeah, it's looking nice, isn't it? Um, obviously, tough time for breweries at the moment. And uh, locally, for me, um, breweries that would not what you would call craft beer breweries jumped on the uh, into the craft beer world and it has been tough I know this uh, from what I've spoke to people and uh, yeah there's uh, there's this accepting people breweries as, as, a, as a craft beer brewery um, and I did notice when I went to Blue Monkey's um, Arnold pub that the only craft in option that I've seen, bearing in mind there could have been a fridge with some in that I did not see. So I will put that proviso out there. But the only thing I could see on the board and on the bar was Congo Lager and a, a, a really nice craft lager. And, and, and I really wanted to see uh, craft uh, or even keg lines on the bar. I mean, I know they can do keg, um, and obviously keg 
as far as I know. Now, I'm, I'm no expert, so, you know. Uh, and I always say this because people think you're some expert because, you, you know, you talk about beer. I talk about beer because I've got a love of what I, I, like, I like to drink. No expert. Don't profess to be an expert. I know much more about gardening. And, and even then, when things change, the world changes. And even in the business of bre brewing stuff, everything changes. It's always changeable. There's always new stuff coming out. And then sometimes you do something once, do, don't work. You do something again, works. Do something next time, don't work. And it's like, what the hell went off? I've brewed enough beer myself over the years to know this, where you know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And there's no difference in what I've done. And it's literally, why? Oh, gives you that really sucks your mouth and um, got this from Adventure Bear. Like I say, uh, for anybody watching this channel, you will have noticed this year there has been a massive downhill decline in beer halls. Um, partly because there's a change of the channel. I'm doing much more cask and keg beer reviews now. So, more socialising, one minute reviews, there's no, uh, there's a little bit of raggy, um, what's the word, personality. Uh, there's always going to be my personality. But the beer review is more just about the beer and, and nothing else. Whereas these sort of beer reviews, depending on, dependent on how I'm feeling, uh, can either be a, a full on tangent, expli you know, explosion, or it can be a beer review with maybe a slight offish tangent. This is one of them, you know, it's a slight tangent beer review. Um, obviously, Blue Monkey got four brewery bar, brewery pubs, um, one in Arnold, one in Nottingham City Centre at Cannon Circus. Um, I just forgot where the other two are. One in Newark. And one in Loughborough, all called the organ grinder. Um, but yeah, as the brewery goes, always had a, had a, had a, always had a soft spot for the brewery. I mean, we went in two thousand and sixteen, years before I, two years before I even thought about doing beer reviews. Went to the bash in the brewery, and uh, it was a good night. That was. Apart from getting a bollocking off some little old bloke, um, not me personally, but uh, everyone there, because uh, the toilet there was only one toilet and everybody was flooding outside. Lots, lots of people needing wheeze, and not blokes can't hold their uh, stomachs. And I think IKEA came round and kicked off a little bit. So, yeah, but other than that, it was all right. <laughs> um, these things happen. The last time they had a party there for the craft beer launch. They had a load of outside cubicles, which helps, um, is what it is, you know. We all live and learn, don't we? Ain't none of us perfect in this world. Someone's making a noise. So. Getting that pastry element now from it. Um, And I like a beer to, you know, I, I think a 10 or 12 minute review is a good review because you get in, the air is getting to the beer. Four minute reviews, yeah, you can you can do four. I can do one minute reviews, so that just defeats all the purpose then. But, um, yeah, I would love to see more pubs having this on keg. Um, even the local pubs, I've not seen a Blue Monkey on keg. I've seen cask. I mean, like the new A4, which you wouldn't know was Blue Monkey unless you read actually read it was Blue Monkey. It's really strange. When you're used to the Blue Monkey, you know, the actual, I mean, I've got all the bookmarks over here, uh, pump clips rather, and they're all, obviously, the little monkeys features in all of them, but A4 is, is an actual, and I did point this out on the internet, that uh, the theming of Blue Monkey is gone, and it's just A4, it's, piece, it's like a writing pad. And uh, totally different. So, uh, so 
So one I wanted to try. Uh, they're bringing out lots of ears. Uh, check out the website. Depends on what browser you use. I have severe issues with the Blue Monkey website with my browser. And uh, so I need to make sure which browser is which. Because sometimes I click on something and then I can't get it back on. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a browser thing. But in any case, check out the website. If you live near, go down to the shop. If you go to the shop, you'll pick up beers that you probably won't see sometimes on the website, like their small batch releases. So always worth keeping in mind. Uh, I would assume, assume, um, I don't really deal with Blue Monkey uh, on a regular basis, but I would assume they'll be having their, they'll be opening the brewery up as a tap room again in, in the, on the, you know, sometime in, in the summer. Uh, today would have been a perfect day. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, we're, we are in the middle of April, so we should we should start getting some decent weather. But uh, yeah, um, opening the tap room up, and uh, you get to look at, you know, if if they will let you do it, they'll get you to have a look at the equipment, which is really interesting. Um, I would like to see a Blue Monkey craft beer bar um, with some cask lines on, but a keg bar with all their offerings and maybe a few guest ones because it's always good to have guest beers anyway um, just to really promote this there's certain areas of Nottingham where it would work um, I mean I won't go to the city centre myself because it's expensive and Nottingham City Council absolutely hate anybody with a car it's all about catching buses uh, although if you're drinking you shouldn't be driving anyway uh, technically but anyway, enough rattling, into the bear review. Um, so for me, oh, it delivered. It delivered on aroma. I got the cherry. I got the. I got what what I was wanting. The black forest taste and smell to it. The pastry elements. It was like a bit of like a pastry sour. Uh, and uh, the ABV was nice as well. Six percent. What six percent? I I've already forgot. And there we go. So yeah, I mean, out of five, would I drink it again? Yes, yes. If I see it in the wild, at a pub, I'll have it again. Um, somebody's banging the wheelie bin. Out of five for me, a good 4.4 .4 out of five. So yeah, well worth a try, if you see it out in the open. Adventure Beer do have it. Blue Monkey may have it. I don't know. I know Adventure Beer has got it. That's where I got it from. But, and other places may have it as well. The pubs may have it. Ask at your local. If you live near a Blue Monkey pub, ask them. Or if they actually have Blue Monkey beers on cask in your pub, ask them about the availability of cans. Because your pub itself may be able to snag a few cans off them to sell on the bar. Uh, albeit via a fridge, you know, to keep the purist happy. Yes, indeedy. Uh, and that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers up.